Hey guys, what's up? This is JRP77 from JG and Games, and today we're going to be talking about the mask modifier in Blender, so stick around. So today, we're going to be talking about the mask modifier. Now this modifier allows for vertices of an object to be hidden based off of their vertex group or armature that they're a part of. So without further ado, let's just get started. So I've already got Blender open right here, and I'm just going to click off to the side, and then I've got this cube right here. Now in order for this to work, we need to have a couple more vertices. So I'm going to hit tab, then I'm going to go over here to this left sidebar, and I'm going to click the subdivide button twice. Now that we've got this, I'm going to create what's called a vertex group. So I'm going to go over to my right sidebar, and over here here you'll notice that there's this triangle tab. This is our mesh data. So I'm going to click on this and then under vertex groups, I'm going to click the plus button. I'm going to double click on the text to change the name and I'm going to just change it to test. And now that I'm here, I'm going to hit A to deselect all the vertices and then I'm going to hit one on the numpad. So we come here and then I'm going to hit B and I'm just going to drag and select all of these vertices right here. Now over here on my right sidebar, I'm going to click the assign button. So what we've done is we've created what's called a vertex group. Now a vertex group is just going to be like a list of vertices in their position rotations etc so that we can modify them in groups that's basically all they do it's just a really easy way to group all of your vertices together it's like layers in Photoshop so now that we've got this I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna hit tab again to enter object mode and I'm gonna go one tab over to the modifier tab and I'm gonna click add modifier and I'm just gonna select mask now you'll notice we have a couple options right here so let's go over them first is the mode option now this allows us to select which method we are going to be using to mask off our vertices and we have two options we have vertex group and we have armature so in the vertex group mode, all it's going to do is it's going to take all the vertices that are selected in that vertex group that we just made, and it's going to make them visible. The rest of the vertices will be invisible. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to change the vertex group to test, and you'll notice that only this square is visible. And we have a button right next to it that's just a little line with two arrows on the end. This is invert. So what invert's going to do is it's going to make all of the vertices that are selected invisible, and the other vertices that weren't selected in that vertex group visible. So you can see if we click this, then we have this hole right here. That's a pretty easy way to take a cube or some shape and turn it into maybe something with a hole in it, something like that. Now also, this can be useful for modeling if you want to see inside of an object, because you can just go in, you can mask exactly what you want, and then you can see inside the object. And you can check normals, you can check all kinds of stuff just from doing that one simple action. So that's basically the vertex group. Now let's go ahead and let's talk about the armature, because this is a little bit more complex. So in order for this to test out the armature mode, we first need a more complex object. So I just loaded in the monkey, which is kind of like the mascot of Blender, because this will provide us enough room to work with. So I'm going to rig this very basically, so this is going to be a very basic, pretty low explanation version of rigging. I don't have to make a tutorial later on how to rig and animate in Blender, but I don't understand enough to actually teach it right now, so I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna hit Shift A, go Armature, click Single Bone, and this will create our bone. But you'll notice that we can only see the little head of it right there. So I'm gonna go over to this tab and I'm gonna click X-Ray on the Object tab. This will allow us to see our bone through all of our meshes. So now that we've got this, I want to make a bone that goes down towards his mouth. So I'm gonna hit five, then three, then we hit tab, and I'm gonna select this ball down here, and I'm just gonna drag towards his mouth. Now I'm gonna hit one, so that we go back into front view, and I'm gonna select this ball right here, because I want to do one for the size of this face too, and I'm gonna do one on this side, and I'm just gonna go to about right there, and then I'm gonna do the exact same on the other side, and go to about the same vertice on that side as well. So basically what this is gonna do is this is gonna allow us to warp different vertices and stretch them so that it makes it look like it's a realistic thing. So this is a very simple rig. This isn't very complicated, it's just four bones. So because of that, I would not trust what I'm doing because I am not very good at armatures and this is probably a very poor example of how this works, but this will warp our model just enough so that it shows what is going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this armature and the way you do that is you hit tab to go back into object mode. We're gonna go up to our hierarchy and I'm gonna drag this down a little bit and I'm gonna drag Suzanne, which is the name of the monkey, and I'm gonna drag it on top of the armature object. Now notice we get a couple options, object, armature, deform, with empty groups, envelope weights, automatic weights, bone. We are going to select automatic weights because this is going to make it easier. So just click it and then boom, it's all ready to go. So we can go into what's called pose mode by going down to our view modes and clicking pose mode. And now you'll see that if we rotate this, that part of the object moves. Now let's apply this to the mask modifier. Why do we just do this? Well, so I'm gonna go back down to object mode by clicking this button right here and then selecting object mode. Then I'm gonna go click on Suzanne and I'm gonna go add modifier 
mask. Now on here, I'm gonna select the vertex group mode to armature, and then I'm gonna change the armature to armature. Boom, now you'll notice that everything got really crazy all of a sudden, and you may be wondering, why is that? Well, basically what's happened is it only is going to show based off of the bone we've last selected. So if we select the armature real quick, and we go down here to pose mode, you'll notice that we are currently selecting this one right here. Now it's gonna only show these ones that are really close to it, and it's not gonna show these ones that are farther away from it. And you'll notice the same thing happens if we select this one. And you may be wondering, why in the world is this useful? I was watching a video on this, and I'll try to link it in the description, but the person who was making the tutorial was saying that if you were to make a character and you gave it clothing, well, you wouldn't want to render the sleeve, let's say, and the arm at the same time, so you could actually use the mask modifier to mask out the arm because he has clothing over it. And that's what you would do here. So that's basically all there is to the mask modifier. It lets you go in and mask out the vertices that you don't want to see, and it also can simplify your workflow when making a character, making a model, etc. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys like this tutorial. If this video sucked, you know what to do, but if it didn't, drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out our website, social media, and merch as well as our community Discord server. All those links will be in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.